Uh, recently, my wife uh, uh, experienced acute um, abdominal pain, and uh, it 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 got really bad. And we ended up in the emergency uh, department at M Health Fairview. Um, the uh, pain was so severe that uh, she was seen immediately, uh, at least brought to a room immediately. But from there, uh, I must say the situation just um, got worse and worse. My wife ended up uh, being in the hospital uh, for four days, um, three of which she never left the emergency department. She was uh, at times in the hallway, sleeping in the hallway, uh, while other patients in the emergency department were in the ambulance uh, bay uh, in stretchers. Um, it was that bad. And we thought, oh gosh, there's no rooms in the hospital. She can't be admitted. And we soon learned that that was not the case at all. It was a staffing shortage. There was plenty of beds available in the hospital but uh, there weren't enough uh, nurses uh, available to, to care for those pa patients. And, uh, and that is why she, she wasn't uh, able to get ad admitted. And uh, meanwhile, the emergency department is overflowing with, with patients. And my wife was seeing people um, wheeled in and out of the ambulance bay uh, uh, while they were uh, waiting, waiting care. So, um, we felt fortunate that she didn't have to spend a night in the garage. Our system in Minnesota is so broken. We feel we're really fortunate. Uh, we live in a major metropolitan area with lots of different options. We went to one of the largest institutions, uh, healthcare institutions in the state, M Health Fairview, thinking that we would uh, be provided uh, adequate care, actually exceptional care, uh, and uh, that just wasn't unfortunately the case. The, the situation, quite frankly, is that uh, money is not being spent responsibly and um, the priority of the patient is, is not the top priority. Um, and that is because of uh, executives um, in our healthcare system, board members in our healthcare system, and uh, administrators in our healthcare system are just simply not being responsible and uh, putting profit over patients, quite frankly. And we're, my wife saw it, I saw it, our family saw it, and uh, it's, it's not gonna get better until we see some real change from the very top. What I would wanna say to a CEO of a hospital would be put yourself in my family's shoes. Your wife, your daughter, your son uh, has to go to the emergency room of your local hospital uh, and uh, endures what, what we had to endure, which could have been maybe an overnight stay and ended up being a four night stay with very, very poor care. You know, is that what you want for your family?